Hello, let's continue our advanced Sudoku series with Gui Pure by Shai. This is puzzle number one of chapter six, the final chapter of the Sudoku Gospel document, which you can find a link to in the description. Um, as always, I know what technique I'm looking for. Um, honestly, I have no idea what it is, though, so we're going to figure it out together. Uh, sorry about that, <laughs> but the name doesn't mean a lot to me. I, I, the name means half to me, so we'll figure it out. Um, whether it means stopping and figuring it out later, I don't know, but I'm going to need this to use this puzzle as an example to figure out what, what they're talking about. So um, there is a link in the description if you want to try the puzzle yourself first, and I'm going to get started right now. Um, okay, let's. I want to start with these cells because these cells look intentionally, I don't know, like the givens are just talking about them. I don't know. Um, let, let's find out what these are. This can be two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three only. The cell can be two, three, four, five, nine, not nine. Okay. This cell can't be one, two, three, four. It could be five and nine. That's it. And then this cell can be two, three, not three, not four, five. This can be six or eight. Okay. That's not super helpful, is it? Um. Let's do some scanning now, I guess. These two fives look in, so fives in one of these two. Um, these two fives look down, so fives in one of these two. Let's look at these four cells. We need a two, a four, a six, and an eight. Because all the odd digits. Interesting. It feels intentional. This cell sees one, two, could be three, four, can't be five, could be six, can't be seven, could be eight. Hmm. Three, four, six, eight. Okay. How about this row? Also has all the odd digits. So this is also two, four, six, eight. So these, oops, I cleaned up the wrong thing. All right. Four, six, six, eight. So these cells are the one, three, five, seven. Seven's one of these two. Interesting. Um, huh. What else do we have going on here? Four is one of these two in the box. Um, Seven is placed. These two sevens look up. Yeah, seven's placed. Uh, puts a seven one of those two. Nine is placed here. Okay. The box. Puts a nine over here. Turns out I should have vertically scanned earlier. Okay. Um. Not seeing anything there. The fives we got. The ones. One is placed. Four ones looking in that box. Anything else I can do with ones? Generally, doing that doesn't help a whole lot unless it's taking the spot of something else. This is two, three, four. Wait. Oh, it is five digits. Two, three, four, five, nine. Hmm. This one's not four or nine, so it's two, three, five. Um, this can't be four or nine, so it's five, six, seven. Okay, still not really seeing what to do here. How about this? This is two, three, four, five. It's three, four, five. Okay. I've already forgotten even the name of the the full name of the technique that they listed. I'll have to look it up when I say it, but I'm not even sure what I'm looking for here. Um, it's very suspicious that we have these, all these odd numbers here. Don't know what to do with it yet. Is there any other like low hanging fruit I can do here? Eight's in one of these two. Five's down here, actually, this column. One of these is a five. That claims this. Making it two, three only. 
these fives line up, so fives over fives over here. So these aren't five, so I'm gonna fill them. <laughs> they could be two, three, four, not five, eight, nine. And then we clean that up. Okay. Hmm, that felt intentional, but like the, these lining up. I don't know. Uh, what else is going on here? I'm not sure. Okay. Seven's one of these two. I may have to full candidate again. I don't know if I I don't know if I should have to on this one. All right, I'm I'm gonna look at the the technique name. Give me a sec. So it's called empty rectangle intersection pair, and then has parentheses s. So empty rectangle intersection pair. So we know what a re empty rectangle is, right? Generally, it's when you've got a box that's got like some single row or column that can contain a digit, and no matter which row or column it ends up in, it ends up causing a similar effect. Where would we have that in this puzzle? Like the, the intention in this puzzle feels like this row and this column. So like this empty rectangle maybe, right? What um what are we thinking here? <laughs> Actually I've uh no I don't have claiming eights. I thought I had claiming eights for some reason. No, we've got all of two four six eight here, we got all of two four six eight here. Okay. Um So th this is this is empty rectangle E. Uh so like if one of these is a two, if the two ends up here, this is a four. And if the two ends up here, this is a four. So one of these two is a four. So that seems helpful, right? So basically my, my, my logic here is the two ends up either here, like the two ends up in one of the green cells, whichever, it, and the green cells are either going to make that not a two or make that not a two. Same deal with the four. The four is going to end up somewhere in the green cells. It's going to make one of these not a four. So this is a pair. This is a two, four pair. So I can make that like blue and orange. That's a two, four pair. And that might be what we're talking about here. Um, so let's apply that first. This can't be two or four. Um, I wonder what else we can do with that. Interestingly, okay. So if this is, if the orange is the two, then that ends up a three. And if blue is the two, then that ends up the three. So one of these two is a three at least. And they see these, so these can't be three. So I think I get this five and this four here. And that gives us this two, four pair. Okay, so these aren't twos, that's not a four. So four ends up in one of these two, and two ends up in one of these two is the result. That's not two or four. That's not a, th that's a three now, as predicted by that being a two. I don't think I need these colored. Uh, we get this nine, gets this nine. Okay, let's clean up a little bit. Three eight pair places the two here and the three there. They both ended up three. Okay. Um, that's not a three. I don't think I need this anymore either. That felt like enough digits to finish. I think we just gotta we gotta do Sudoku again. All right. So I need two six and eight here. That's not a two, so two's up here. Um, it feels like I should just be able to pencil. We have a three-eight pair here, so what's this pair? Five and something. Five and and nine. Okay. Oops. Five and nine. Uh this box, we have one, two, three, and we need four, five, six, seven. That's a four-six pair. So we get the seven and the five here. Uh, that places this seven here. Um, three eight pair places the six. Yep, the four six does the same elimination. Okay, this is looking good. How about this box? Oh, the four is corner marked here, so let's place it. And then we've got um, one, five, and six. Okay, so the the six ends up here. 
Uh, one, three, five, six, no, not quite. Um, what else is going on here? How about this column? We need one, two, five, eight. Okay. Um, what do I need here? I need I need the one along with all the evens. Not helpful. One's on one of these two. Okay, what did I get here? How about this column? I've got one, two, I need three, four, six, eight. These can't be four, this can't be eight. Okay, how about this column? We need two, we've got three, four, five, we need six, seven, eight. So seven in this column can only can only go right there. So that's a seven. That places that seven. Okay. Uh, one, three, two in this row can only go here. All right. Two is in one of these two. This is, yeah, we need a two in this box and it goes there. Uh, this was a three, six, eight triple. Um, clearly there's somewhere easy to look, right? This box, we need one, two, five, eight. Hmm. Um, I only have a little bit left to pencil. What do I mean besides two, four, six, eight? I need a three. So the three in this box goes here, and this is two, four, six, eight. And it can't be the, it can only be a four out of that to make a single. All right. So. These are from two, five, eight, nine. Right. I just noticed this six here. So let's get that six and that four. Um, what's this one? Oh, we have a six, eight pair. Nice. So that's a two. Uh, this can't be eight either because of the six, eight pair. So that's a one. Okay. That places this one. We can clean up the ones here. Five, six pair. So that's not a five. That places the five in the box. Got some two eights going on here. That's a six, eight pair. So what is this? Four, four, eight, six. Okay. We get our eight. We get our nine and our two. We get our five and our six and our eight and our two. Six and eight. Six, three, eight, three. Five, eight, three, nine, eight, two. One and five. Six and one, and we're done. All right. That actually wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, I knew I was looking for some kind of empty rectangly thing, but that that was neat. And I actually managed to pencil the correct cells without having to pencil everything. But th this interaction here, where we knew the e we knew the evens were here. Um, now, what I used was that one of these would end up a three. I'm wondering if there was like an extension of of this that was a bit more clean, but I'm not entirely sure. Like these ended up all four evens, and I'm wondering if that there was some analysis that forced that, <laughs> like forced this to be a six eight pair. I'm not entirely sure, but I did manage to get through it regardless. I, well, I got enough information to finish the puzzle. So let me know how you did and if you approached this differently. And of course, if you enjoyed this, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.